I do. I was talking to Stephen earlier saying, one thing I always think is so interesting about a head writer for a soap is just that you have to write so many uh, shows and you have to think so many different people's story and the, lo the long arc of stories. And, 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 and I know sometimes viewers get upset with the way something's going. And I, uh, and I think, but the idea is that we need conflict because that's what makes us a soap work. Yeah. And, and for in Stevens, in my case, what brings us back together again? What, what renews a love endlessly year after year? Right. Deal. So I always tell people, ride the wave with us. It's going to be good. Yeah. Like, hang or, in. Like, just, you know, when, just because I put Kayla with Justin does not mean I don't understand that Steve and Kayla is the end game, you know? Like, but it's a story. Otherwise, you two are just sitting around talking about how much you love each other, you know? <laughs> I actually thought it was a great story. And I, I love Wally. Yeah, and Steve and I both love Wally. And, and for and to and to be the idea of Stephen being Stefano was so crazy. All of us were like, "Oh my gosh, are you kidding?" But I mean, the writing was great. Stephen's commitment to it was great. Right. And I think the, it 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 made it plausible that Justin and I would be together and all that. So I mean, right. I thought it was a great a great right. ride and a lot of and fun. in some way with with jumping the year, we didn't have we could shortcut like how Justin and Kayla. Right. Really got together. I mean, some people were objecting to Justin getting involved with someone. I feel like when an old, you know, a person of a certain age, their spouse dies, yeah. oftentimes they do end up with somebody else sooner than you I might. I know several people that or, yeah. 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 So to me, it was very believable. Right. Um, the thing with Stefano, like, I mean, we were, you know, we had introduced the character of Gina back on the canvas and she had to have some kind of partner in crime, obviously. She can't be just talking to the wall, right? So we had Rolf, but Rolf seems more like a henchman than a, you know, an evil partner. Mm -hmm. So we were like, okay, well, who's she teaming up with? And we talked about someone like Clyde. We talked about different people that Gina could be like in league with. And then I was like, well, the most obvious person for her to be in business with is Stefano, but we don't have Stefano. So, you know, then it's a question of two things. Do you recast Joe, which, you know, we really didn't want to do. And yeah. so then we're like, well, then how can we have Stefano in another persona and we're like well look we've got hope as gina why can't we do a similar thing with stefano and then honestly the steve thing i mean steve your character steven had been like floating around in my head because i was like if we do this justin and kayla thing it's a nice story but it's missing a lot of high stakes if you don't have steve come into the story uh, right Right. So it was always thinking in my head, well, can we reintroduce Steve somehow? And then all of a sudden I'm like, what if Steve is Stefano? <laughs> and then because I was, you know, a General Hospital fan as well, and I'd seen you play Stefan Cassadine for so long, even though they're different, just the whole no patch, the way you carried yourself as, as Stefan Cassadine, I was like, he could totally do this. Right. Um, but I didn't realize or even think about that you'd worked with Joe for so long that you would be able to capture all that stuff that you did, mm -hmm. which, I mean, frankly, you know, it was amazing. I'm so, I'm so glad so you thought of me. Because yeah. it was a lot of fun. It really was. I was right, no, and, terrified, I mean, but... No, I mean, I had the hunch. Good. I knew you could play that type of guy, but I didn't know how much you would incorporate Stefano yeah. into it. He had to be there because if, if the, his essence, consciousness, whatever it was, right. was fully inside this body, they, they, right. all of that had to be there. Well, what was good is you, you totally committed and it wasn't just like a full on impression. You just oh. took on like manner and, and certain tone of voice and all of that. And um, Attitude. I think it really like made the story. And like when I pitched to, you know, the various powers that be, Sure. I, like when I said, so, you know, Jean is painting the portrait, she's painting the portrait, and then she finally turns it around, and we see Steve's face, and he's Stefano. I mean, everyone was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, wait, yeah, hear no me out. Don't you love that, though? <laughs> no, it's like I blew their minds. But then the more I talked it through and explained, then they were like, well, maybe. And then I said, you know, and also how important you're going to be watching Justin and Kayla getting closer and you're seeing that Steve is floating around, you know? So I, I, I... Nobody would agree with me probably, but I think it should have gone on longer. I mean... I, I, I honestly, thought it kind of got wrapped up too quickly right, at the end. Right. Well, it was sort of like, I think there was something where, 
you know, Christian was going away. So we had to lose Gina for part of it. And then I was like, okay, it was tricky. Cause it was like, when is it too long? When have you like worn out? You're welcome. And I'm the first to admit, I also like, I get impatient and I'm like, I'm sometimes people pull me back the other writers cause I'm ready to blow some secret maybe too early. Mm -hmm. But it's such a balance because sometimes you do get the audience going, oh, the secret has been held for so long, I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. Right. But sometimes it's the weight of that amount of time makes the reveal bigger, you know? Right. Um, it's harder to do in this day and age when you feel like people don't have the attention span. They want like a payoff sooner rather than later. Like, like I'm a different kind of person. I don't want to know anything. I, I want. Don't either, I don't read reviews of movies ever before right. I see them. I don't oh. want to yeah. I want to be surprised. I want to say, like, what if, what if Steve runs to stop the wedding, but it's too late, they're already married? Like, you don't know how that's going to play out, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't even know. Well, they are excited for the reunion, that's for sure. Absolutely. No, um, and I get the impulse to promote that. The yeah, upshot but, is they get back together. I, I get it. It aired already? It airs, it? it's airing like today, because I think the end of yesterday, Justin overheard that Steve is still in love. And right. so I think today is like, he's at the altar and what's he going to do? Right. And may, so maybe today so is nice. like... It was so nice how you wrote that too, because it could, you know, obviously it could be so many things like, like that, like Steve comes charging in or right. whatever the things right. are. But it was it's nice just, to give him that dignity that. to say... Um, yeah. I mean, because we talked through each possibility and it was like, okay, Steve bursts in and stops the wedding. Well, it makes him kind of a dick, you know? Then yeah. and, we were and, like... And it goes against what I had vowed to do. Right. Which is not interfere and let her be. Right. And then Kayla herself could have said, I can't do this. I'm in love with Steve. And then you kind of don't like her because maybe it feels like if she knew that deep down, then she led Justin on. And then we finally came upon, well, what if Justin himself stops it? It seemed like everybody comes out looking good, you know? Right, right. right. Yeah. No, I thought, you know, and for me too, because, because Patch and Kayla are such an iconic couple, when it was presented to have this thing with Justin, we really had to find ways to justify it and to really make it different and to make it kind of pureish, you know? And I didn't, I never wanted to be like that, like where I didn't really love him. I mean, why was I right. doing all those things if I didn't really love him? Right, it's right. Different kind of love, different kind yeah. of thing. <clears throat> but I just thought the whole thing played out really nicely. You yeah. all have our You could always see your conflict underneath, Mary Beth. You, you played you, it so Robert. well. Well, Thank that's you. what I figured. I'm like, look, she's gonna play it. I don't have to overstate it. No. I'd rather have her say full on, I'm over Steve, I love Justin, but the audience will get from your performance that there is part she's of you that doesn't- She's herself yeah. if this is a good idea. Right. Yeah. I mean, it, it was definitely a tricky line to walk because we know where the rooting interest really is. Right. But I think what was nice is you and Wally had such a nice rapport that people were kind of on board even though they might really want Steve and right. Caleb, you know? Yeah. Right. I mean, we've all known each other such a long time. And then the whole, uh, you know, Judy Evans, you know. Yeah, I mean, it helps that it's like likable people that you like, you know, it, there was no real villain in the whole, in that story, you know. Right. And is then. It, is it hard for you <clears throat> year after year? I mean, you've been writing soaps for a long time to just keep coming up with more story or is it something like you're watching something on the street and you come up with the idea? I mean, how do you come up with so many? I mean, ideas? I gotta say it is very hard. And like, you know, and you do get, you get dissected and picked apart and we have to keep this big train moving every day and have story for like 30 people. And, you know, and, and we, you know, we were writing six episodes a week. You don't have tons of time to sit there and plot and scheme every beat of the story. You kind of do a lot of it on the fly. Mm -hmm. So what helps is like with that time jump, we really did have to sit and go through every character and figure out up front what happened to everyone, you know? And then once we decided, okay, what if some, you know, Adrian dies, all these other pieces start to fall into place. Okay, we could put, we, would, we could put Justin and Kayla and you don't hate Kayla because, you know, she didn't steal them, you know, that kind of stuff. But like, it is very hard. Sometimes we'll have two or three big story ideas, you know, and then other things kind of fall into place around it. But it's very hard to be like, oh, I've got, you know, written out stories for 30 different people. Mm -hmm. It, it kind of changes and evolves as you're telling it because so many stories have to, cr in, you know, cross into each other. Well, it was very well constructed. It really was. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, that's we can't always achieve that, but I feel like in this case, 
We really did. I think so too. You know, we've been watching, because of uh, the reunion this week, we've been watching reunion clips. Yeah. So oh. we have <clears throat> a clip that you might like. Okay. Uh, some, it's got some Stefano stuff in there. Oh, cool. So would you be interested in seeing that now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Happy New Year, everyone. We're back. <laughs> Never expected Steve to show up here tonight. And why is he doing his help? Happy New Year, sweetness. Yeah, I like the combo. Like, he looks like it, but he's yeah. not exactly. I feel like Marlena's even playing it like Stefano. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, Justin. It's the word. What's the word? <laughs> the word seed is reprehensible, cruel, unforgivable. Take your pick. Easy, man. It's a party, huh? Right. This you show up for. But your own sister's funeral, you couldn't be bothered. You couldn't even be bothered to come back and face Kayla to discuss the end of your marriage. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't see what there was to discuss. Because she sent me the papers and I just signed them because I figured that was what she wanted me to do. And now I see why. And Hope warned me my ex-wife had moved on with the husband my poor deceased sister. <laughs> God. Come back to Salem for Kayla. She's busy. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. That ship, as they say, has sailed. Kayla's not the reason I'm here. Wing, wing, wing. Come on, this is a party, you remember? Before celebrations, and and lots of champagne, and there's wonderful food, and dig in. If you didn't come back here for me, then what the hell did you come back for? I think everybody in this room wants to know that. It was right. It's always great to see you, partner. And I know better than anyone about the ISA and secrets. So I find it just a little strange that you would show up back in Salem after all this time ago. Some kind of a heads up, so what's the deal? Yes, Dave, what's the deal? Let's hear it already. Truth is, I'm here because of Marlena. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that yeah. was good. That was <laughs> well, good. doesn't it feel like so classic days with like all like all the characters that are on the screen? You know, Doug and Julie, John and Marlena, Steve and Kate. You know, that. that's so yeah. great. Generations on that show, which is so fabulous. Yeah, yeah. 